We thank you. We give you praise, Father. We adore you and we honor you because you are good. You are good. Thank you. Thank you that you have preserved us, so God, and gathered us before you this morning. Thank you for waking us up and giving us breath to breathe, O oh God. Thank you for strengthening us. Thank you. Thank you that indeed we are alive in you. And we are alive, O oh God, to bring glory to your holy name. We say your name be praised, your name be exalted, your name be magnified. Your name be adored, O oh God. Your name be lifted high and high. We praise your holy name, our heavenly Father. We praise your holy name. There is none like you. There is none that can stand against you. There is none that knows your mind, O oh God, that he may instruct you. By your word says that by your mercy, by your grace, by your love, we have the mind of Christ. Thank you so much for the privilege given to us, O oh God, by giving us your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our, our sins, O oh God, who took our place, who took our shame and our weaknesses and infirmities and nailed to his cross, who went through pain. Oh, yes, Lord, and died for us. He went through disgrace and shame and public ridicule, O oh God, because of us. The West says indeed that you so love the world that you gave or your only begotten son. Yes, Lord, and whosoever believes in him will never perish. Thank you. We give you praise and glory. This morning we pray that grant us the ability to believe and to trust in you, Lord. Ability to hear your voice, ability to have an encounter with you, ability to embrace that which you have prepared and ordained for us, O oh God, not only for today, but for the rest of the days ahead of us, till you come, O oh Lord Jesus, or so you have prepared for us, Lord, grant us the ability to see and to perceive, O oh God, and to embrace in the name of Jesus Christ. May none of us stray before you, O oh God, may none of us, O oh God, fall by the wayside, may none of us fall away. May none of us doubt you, O oh God, for you are God alone, a terrible God, a powerful and mighty King, O oh God. You are the King of all kings. You are the Lord of all laws. This morning, breathe afresh upon us, Lord, that we will be alive again in the name of Jesus. Renew our strength if we are weak, O oh God. Renew our spirit, renew our souls, renew our minds and our bodies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there is anyone who is sick among us, Father, we declare that uh, by your mercy, O oh God, we receive healing in the name of Jesus. Uh, if there is one that is cast down, Father, we receive an upliftment, O oh God, a lifting up in the name of Jesus, a lifting up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there is one that is hopeless, Father, Lord God, may you touch and renew new their hope in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May show Korea body. We receive the ability, O God, Kabaruante, to overcome every bitterness, to overcome everything that could hinder us, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we overcome pain, we overcome every trouble in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who is our teacher, our helper, our comforter, our guide, our leader, our strengthener, our all in all. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning. Quicken our heart that we will be able to perceive, we will be able to know and understand. Oh, yes, Lord, the word of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, strengthen us, Lord. And may we never remain the same, oh, God. But let there be a transformation this morning. Let there be a transformation this morning. Let there be supernatural touch. Yes, Lord Jesus. Sir. Let there be a supernatural touch and transformation by the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, you are all welcome to today's devotion. And today I want to share with you 
a scripture from First John chapter five. From First John chapter five, verse number four, it says that for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And the five say that who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Hallelujah. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So by faith, by faith, we know that anyone that is born of God, Anyone that is born of God is an overcomer. It's an overcomer. It says that that person has overcome the world or overcomes the world. And if the scripture says that we have overcome the world, it also means that we have overcome everything that is within the world. Everything we can think of which is within the world, we have overcome. We have conquered it. We have conquered it. Because we have believed that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. So it doesn't matter the things that the enemy will throw at us. It doesn't matter. Just like in the book of Revelations, it says that By the blood of Christ, we have overcome the enemy. We overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. We triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb. It means that the very first day that we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we confessed our sins and he gave us salvation and renewed us and strengthened us and regenerated our spirit and gave us his nature and he made us sons and daughters unto this God. The scripture says that we overcame the world and we are still overcoming. We are still overcoming and overcoming all things, every tricks of the enemy, every devices, everything within the world, spiritually and physically we have overcome because we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And I want to read another scripture from the book of Romans chapter number 8. Romans 8 from verse number 34. He says that, Who is he that condemned? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Through him that loved us. And he says that who is he that can condemn you? It is Christ that died for us. So if Christ has put his life in the line and at rest for me, and I have received him as my Lord and Savior, then there is no one in this life, there is no one in the life to come that condemns me. Because Christ died, and he says that, yea, rather, that he is risen again, and who is even sitting at the right hand of God, who also maketh or makes intercession for us. So Christ, as he died for me and he rose again and he went to heaven, he is not just sitting with the Father, but the scripture says, 
it is telling me that he's also praying for me. He's also making intercession for me. He's pleading on my behalf. He's looking out for me. He's watching all my ways and, and, and helping and strengthening and encouraging and praying for me that James Oseusu will not fall, but he will stand at all costs. He will stand before he comes back for me. That is his heart beat for you and for me. So we are not just ordinary people, Christians with weaknesses walking on this earth. And that is one mystery that we, should, we must know. Every Christian must know. It is, an, it is a knowledge or a knowing that we must know that indeed I have been saved by Christ and I am a child of God. And although many things fight me, I go through things, I go through storms, and I go through persecutions, and I go through perils, and a lot of things, but none of these things will be able to destroy me, because Christ, my God, my Savior, after he died for me, when he rose again and he went to heaven, he's praying for me, he's interceding on my behalf, that I may stand for him and say that who shall separate us from the love of Christ because of his love his love is so deep and vast and powerful and as he has loved us he will not allow anything to separate us or anyone to separate us from his love and he says he mentions some things that tribulation you know when we go through situations hard times and he says all oh, distress or oh, persecution oh they can persecute you but beloved they cannot, that persecution, that distress, that tribulation can never separate you from the love of Christ. They cannot deny you of that love that Christ had for us and is still having for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and said, famines may come, hunger, oh Jesus, but none of these things shall separate us from the love of nakedness or peril or sword. You go through many fights, you go through many persecutions, but and many hard times and troubles. But the scripture says that none of these shall be able to separate us from the love of God. And the verse 37, that says that, no, in all these, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Why are we more than conquerors through him that loved us? It's because the scripture has said in First John 5 that, Whoever, whosoever is born of God, overcometh the world. Because we are already overcomers. We are already conquerors. We are already winners because of the choice we made by the grace of God. So every Christian is an overcomer. Beloved, wherever you find yourself at this moment, in your home, in your community, in your, in, your, in your place of work, in your pursuit of your career and ministry, wherever you find yourself at this time, both physically and spiritually, the scripture says that you are an overcomer. You are a conqueror. So it doesn't matter. My encouragement this morning to myself and to you is that it does not matter the things we've been through, the experiences we've had over the years and the things, battles we are still facing and the things we are still enduring. Oh, Jesus. And, and, and the attacks and all kinds of sicknesses and persecutions and the distresses and perils and, 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 and all kinds of tribulations. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. It is something that is the anchor we have. So whenever it looks like you are failing, things are delayed, and you are losing hope, and you are losing your faith, hold on to the word of God. Hold on to the fact that the scripture says to me, James, you can never give up. You can't give up because you are an overcomer. You are a conqueror. A conqueror. Oh, just like God telling Gideon that a mighty man of valor, oh, a conqueror, will rise, arise, rise up, 
and stand your ground. Rise up and stand in your place and begin to fight and begin to overcome and begin to gather and begin to take territories, begin to begin to exercise that conqueror's power and authority that God has given to you. It is annoying. Anytime we go through troubles, we must remember that the word of God says to us that we have overcome the world and we are still overcoming things and we are conquerors in every situation, in every situation, in the whisperings of the enemy, the voice, strange voices and agitations and, 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 and all kinds of intimidations and the things that come our way. In the midst of them all, we are more than conquerors. You want to speak to yourself at this time. You want to, you want to address your spirit and address your mind and your soul uh, to agree with the word of God. It is only by you agreeing with the word of God and believing that you will begin to see the manifestation of the word of God. You will begin to see the power of that word. We give Say to yourself that I am not ordinary. Because the word of God says that I have overcome the world and everything therein. In Christ Jesus, we are conquerors. I am a conqueror in the name of Jesus Christ. I am a conqueror in my community. I am a conqueror in my family. I am a conqueror in my marriage. I am a conqueror, a winner, O oh God, in my office, in my career, in my ministry. I have conquered every situation. I have overcome persecution. I have overcome and tribulations I have overcome distresses and I have overcome perils I have overcome disgraces and shame I have overcome sicknesses in the name of Jesus Christ so it does not matter what I'm going through right now I am an overcomer and that situation will not win that situation will not overcome me nothing will overcome us nothing will overcome you beloved nothing will overcome you oh a conqueror a soldier of soldiers care that brought no Okay, a soldier of soldiers that oh God, a soldier of soldiers at thou, beloved, a soldier of soldiers at thou, a conqueror, a winner, you cannot give up, I cannot give up. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God, the whole heaven is backing the word of God, the whole heaven is behind the word of God or watching to perform in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture says that my word that has Born out of my mouth, it shall not return to me void. Kerumandika, Romosokote, Rebrande, a word is gone out of the mouth of God unto somebody this morning that it shall not return to him void. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a conqueror arise. Somebody rise up, a conqueror. Rise up in your ministry, rise up in your family, rise up, rise up. I rise up in my community, I rise up in your workplace, rise up and take territories, rise up and take charge. Rise up and take charge. Rise up and take charge. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rise up and instruct every negative situation around you uh, to bow because you are a conqueror. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Speak to that sickness. Uh. Yes, Lord Jesus. We speak to every disease. Uh. We speak to every stranger. Every stranger. Every alien. Uh. Every squatter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that Christ has not given to us. Every Every situation that Jesus has not permitted, we judge you in the name of Jesus Christ. We come out of persecutions. We come out of holes and waters and prisons. We come out of sicknesses. We come out of weaknesses. We come out of all kinds of fears. We come out of disgrace and shame and defeat in the name of Jesus Christ. We come out of every negativity. Because we are more than conquerors uh, through him who loved us uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the scripture says in Romans 8, the same Romans 8 chapter, it says that, Oh, Mazuni Mikete, Robande say, is the Rakusha, Paruande say, all things, that's what that we know, for we know, we know that all things work together for good. Kebaruma Sate, all things work together for 
are good. Kebarumate. That everything that is happening in my life right, right now, it shall work together for my good. Kerubrosa. It can never go wrong. Kabarumasa. I will not fail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It must work together for my good. For I am a conqueror and a winner. I take charge over my family. I take charge over my family. Somebody take charge over your family. Take charge over your children. Take charge over your spouses. Take charge over your spouse. Take charge over your destiny. Take charge over your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take charge over your divine health. And begin to suck every alien. And begin to speak against every alien. And begin to judge them. Begin to summon them. Begin to overcome. Overthrow them. Kick them out. I have overcome in my ministry. I have overcome in my territory, in my home. I have overcome in every situation. I have overcome because I am a conqueror by Christ Jesus. I am a conqueror. The Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. The Lord is with you, beloved. The Lord is with you. Angels are with you. Angels are with you. Angels are with you. Angels are with you. So we are we are not fighting alone. We are not fighting alone. We are not standing alone. Jesus is fighting with us. Jesus is fighting for us. The scripture says that he's seated at the right hand side of God and he is interceding for us. Yes, Lord Jesus. Angels are with you, somebody fighting for you. Karo asuto robrondeke. The heavenly host. Karano soto leve. Rakusha pariande. The masom toke. The whole heaven is behind you, beloved. You can never fail. You can never give up. A conqueror, an overcomer. Oh, a winner. Karoma sante deve. Stand and possess your possession. Stand and declare. Karona sata peace. In every situation. Stand and lay hold on that which is your sir. Command doors to be open. Karene sete. Command doors that are shut to be open in the name of Jesus Christ. We command every door. Karia satelebe, which is supposed to be open. That is shut to God. We command it to open. We command it to open. We command it to open. In the name of Jesus, thou doors of divine health, oh God. Doors of miracles upon miracles and the blessings that your people have ever desired, oh God. To have, oh God. Tarebronos Okay, we command these doors to be open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We cannot fail, we cannot be defeated, we cannot be cheated. Cheated, we cannot be swindled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can only win, O oh God. We can only overcome, for we are victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. We command victory on every side, O oh God. Even as we go through the day, carry us suta banwante. May we be victorious, O oh God, by your power in every situation in the name of Jesus Christ. May we come home, O oh God, with conquerors, O oh God, with con- Conqueror song in the name of Jesus Christ. With conqueror song in the name of Jesus Christ. With conqueror spell in the name of Jesus Christ. May we come back, O oh God, Kazuni Mikata, with victory. Karuan Sate Brondoso, victory on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. As we go through the day, we come against every temptation of the enemy. We come against every trap of Satan. We judge, oh, Pete, and all kinds of grave attack for us, oh God. All kinds of appointment, oh God, for us we judge. We declare that we shall not meet the appointment of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cannot operate at a, at a low level. Karoma sotolo, brondoso. For we are more than conquerors. For we have overcome the world. Uh, because we are born of God. We are children of the Most High God. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let there be victory sung on every side, O God. Let there be songs of praises. Let there be testimonies, O God. Father, help us by your grace, by the ability you have given to us by the Holy Spirit. May we always walk, O God, knowing without a doubt that we are conquerors. We are conquerors in Christ Jesus. We have overcome. Yes, Lord, because Christ overcame with us. He overcame for me. He overcame for my brethren. Jesus, you won the victory for every one of us. 
That is why we are victorious and conquerors. Yes, Lord. If we are weak, we receive strength and ability today. And as we go through the day, Father God, may we take territories for you. May we be defiant. May we not be fearful. May we be bold in all things, Lord. And Father, may we, more importantly, bring glory. May we be obedient that your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus. We thank you for hearing us. We thank you for answering every prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.